introducing someone from the uh, the hit HBO uh, series uh, Boardwalk, um, which is a cool series. If you have, if you're not a big fan of it, check it out. Me and Jared were in the background just earlier talking about did we like this week's episode and stuff like that. So um, Fausto's going to come on here. Um, we're we're getting ready to start right now. Here's what you're going to learn in in this show. You're going to learn how to follow the market makers, which is pretty important if you do a lot of intraday trading. Okay. You're going to learn how to, to de how to determine who's controlling the money. All right? It's always and back in the '90s, it used to be really, really powerful. You could always shadow the axe. Um, and now he's going to, to show you what exchanges and ECNs to watch, like Arca, Nasdaq, EGGZ. And then he's also going to teach you some cool tactics and tricks and strategies on how to track time and sales to get the real time supply and demand on stocks. You know, I'm a huge, huge fan. Of uh, time and sales and order flow. So, um, uh, Fausto's a good friend. He's a good trader. He's a good educator. I'm going to turn it over to, over to him and let him. Uh, it's all your show. Take it away and enjoy the show, guys. Hubert, thanks a lot, Hubert. And uh, you didn't butcher it too much. It's Pugliese, or you could say Puglisi, whatever it is. But uh, most people get, uh, they butcher my first name more than anything. But, uh, but thanks again, Hubert, Hubert. And thanks for having me, everyone. Uh, Thanks for being here. Uh, it's always a pleasure. And yes, you know, Hubert is right. You know, been, you know, the, the thing is that it, trading is such a huge, huge, huge industry. But it's a small world. We all come from the same school. We all learned the same exact way. We all find our own little niche. And the thing is, is that we always learn from each other because you know it's always nice to hear things to that are gonna. Um, that we that we could refrain on what we used to do because you know really nothing really hasn't changed that much other than some of the technology uh, we always find our little style but we trade about seventy percent exactly the same and that's what you're about to learn and and my big thing what I kind of teach is is I, I I'm personally a uh, day trader stock trade trader I'm one of the original Souls Bandits that started back in the early nineties there was about close to about a thousand of us now there's over about 10 million of us that trade so you can look at me being your great great grandfather I love what I do it's not a day that goes by that I, I just get excited about it I'm gonna show it to you but the thing is all of you have to understand is you hear about this bad thing called you know high frequency trades we used to call it Huber probably knows we used to call it uh, instant when we used to trade back in the old days um, that the ECN books but we're going to cover it. I'm going to go over it uh, very well. The volume is very loud in the system. Um, I'll see if I can lower it. Uh, probably the best thing to do. Is everyone else, is my volume coming in okay or am I coming in too loud? Sounds good to you? All right. Okay. So if anyone has any questions regarding anything, please you know, put it in the chat. I'll try to answer them as best I can. We're going to go, we're going to go talk about for about an hour. And uh, hopefully if anyone has any specific questions, I'm going to talk, uh, I'll try to answer it, and I'll talk about some of the high frequency trades that we did today. All right. And what happened in the market. Today was a was an excellent day of trading. I'm going to talk about some stocks. I don't know if you guys heard the NVGN and the you know stock up 55% today. Uh, MTSL up 52% today. I mean uh, VISN up literally. 600% in a week, you know, up another. These are things I'm going to show you. This is what traders do. And what you're about to learn that there's another world out there that some of you are trading. There's over 10 million, 10,000 stocks to trade. You only need one. And the one that you need to learn is the one that's going to give you the least amount of risk with the high amount of reward. And that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, and I believe, um, Keith, this is going to be recorded, so you can go back and review it. All right. So let's move on. Let me just uh, tell everyone. Oops, there's a little error here. This must be. Let me change slide. There we go. Hold on. Uh, okay. There we go. All right. So just want to let you guys know that we are going to be doing a uh, a recap of live trading on Friday at 10 a.m. All right. So uh, I think it's on here. Let me just check. I did. I guess I didn't change the first one. But uh, yep, okay. Uh, so for everybody here, just to let you know that on Friday there's going to be two parts to this event that I'm going to be doing. Today I'm going to teach you a little bit about the trading, what to look at, how to find stocks, talk about total view, 
um, everything, and then we're going to take everything that we've learned, and we're going to invite all of you to come register and watch me do live trading on Friday for some of you on October 18th. The room will be open 10 a.m. Eastern time. If you can't make it, it's going to be recorded. Okay, so I'll just give you a little heads up on that. You know, there's only so much I can cover in a short period of time. So, uh, so what we're going to talk about? I'm going to talk about Wall Street head fakes. I'm going to talk about something called the Kiss method. My Kiss method is keep it super simple on a chart. I'm going to talk about refreshing. How market makers go out there and they will want to sell you 100 shares, but they really have 10,000. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about level three, which is total view, which is where the high frequency trades, and a lot, lot more. And also my favorite, which is a lot of you want to know how to find the stocks, and I'm going to talk about that too. All right, um, but before I get into detail about training, I just want to give you guys, again, a recap of who I am, why I'm here, and why you should listen what I'm talking about. Um, when I started trading, I was about 22 years old. Okay, I'm 42 now. I live here in New York. Uh, I was trained by some of the best traders on Wall Street. I was a market maker. And um, before I was a successful trader, I was a successful loser <laughs> because I was one of those people that was trying to be self-taught. I didn't want to spend money on training. I didn't want to waste my time listening to somebody showing me. Um, I was an egotistical little kid thinking I could do it all on my own. And uh, basically, it, it, it was a very expensive lesson. Okay, Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you think, you think education is expensive? Try ignorance. <laughs> so anyway, uh, fortunately, I had some mentors take me under their belt. I finally realized, you know what, let me see what I'm doing wrong because trading, I always felt it was the best job in the world. You are your own boss. You can come and go whenever you please. But you do need a mentor. You do need a coach. You do need a personal trainer that's going to train you how to do this because you're not going to be able to learn it on your own. And that's what I did. It took me about six months to learn it. And in about two years, I was already semi-retired because I was I was only trading an hour a day. You know, after two years, um, I was only trading an hour a day, and that's how I kind of got into the education business. Uh, a lot of people uh, kept asking me, "Could you teach me how to trade Fausto?" Um, and sure enough, I teach, and it's not a day that goes by I don't love what I do. And for some of you who don't know this, I'm also a 12-time champion. Um, at the Traders Expos, I beat every school I competed against because that's day trading is my expertise. There's a small window to do it, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do it. Biggest mistake everybody makes is what I'm about to talk about right now. And I have a question for all of you, and every one of you should be able to answer this question. It's a very simple question. Can everyone just tell me? How does the stock market go up and down? I mean, how do stocks go up and down, everyone? Could all of you answer that? Okay. Supply and demand. Very simple question, right? Okay. Now, think about this for a second. When you trade a stock, okay, or whatever you're trading, do you see the supply and demand out there? Yes or no? Do you guys see the supply and demand? Okay, Ron says no. Deborah says yes. Bob says no. Scott says no. Dave says no. Depends on your platform. Okay. Uh, Robert's not clear on it. Well, Robert, the question is, when you trade, do you see the supply and demand? Do you see the buyers and sellers out there? That's the question. Well, you could obviously see a lot of you are saying no, okay? So this is where my mentors taught me, and they says, Fausto, you're out there competing against the best traders in the world. And the most important thing that you need to understand is you don't even see the supply and demand out there. You don't know what they're buying. You know what they're selling. So you're basically trading blind. How successful are you going to be by not seeing it? 
And that's when it was like a light bulb. That's when I said, well, because they said, this is what they told me. Would you like to see it? Would you like to come in my little closet and show you the private where all the, where all the buyers and institutions are buying and selling? He goes, I'm like, yeah, definitely. Then his next question to me was, what, what do you think that's worth to you? And I was like, well, what do you mean? I says, well, is it going to help you make money? I'm like, yeah, of course it will be. Well, then what is it worth to you? Is it worth for you to go out there and make an investment? Because there are things that everybody has to understand here. There are things that are free, and there's things that cost money. And this is what my mentor taught me. You know what's free? The cheese and the mousetrap. Okay? Platforms cost money. They're not free. The good, good ones, other words, uh, other than that. You know, trades, brokerage firms. What makes one more than the other? Big difference. And that's something that we'll learn down the road. But the most important thing that I was being cheap about was not paying to get this data. Now, Huber would be the first one to, to let you know. When I first started, okay, and this is why I failed, I thought that was, was worth it to me. I'm like, yeah, I would love to see it. And you know what they told me? No problem, Fausto. It's $800 a month to get that data from NASDAQ. NASDAQ offers that data. It's called Level 2. Okay, It's $800 a month. Is it worth it to you? Now, you stop and think about everyone. You're like, I'm not paying $800. $800? Why would I pay $800? I get it for free. Well, okay, no problem. Well, that was my lesson one why I lost so much money in the beginning. Because I wanted to get trained. I wanted to learn how to trade. But when, my, when the guy came up to me and told me, oh, here you go, Fausto, this is it. Now you want to buy it, you got to buy it from the exchange, $800. And you know what I said to him? And I know every one of you probably say the same thing. You know what? Let me go out there and try to trade first. Let me see if I like it and make money, and then I'll go out there and get training, or, and I'll pay whatever I need. Well, that doesn't work too well in the trading business because trading is almost an 80 to 90% failure rate for that one reason. Let me explain to all of you how things work. All right? What you have right here is you have level two on the left and total view on the right. Let me just get my, my uh, pointer out here. Okay. Okay, so here you have them right here. Now, hold on, let me get my, let me just get a pen over here. All right, so these are buyers, these are the sellers. These are the buyers. These are the sellers. Now, the difference between level two and total view is a very, very big difference. Huge difference. What you're seeing here at level two is you're seeing the best buyer and the best seller. So, for example, uh, Goldman Sachs, for example, right here, GSEO. He wants to buy 100 shares of this stock SQM, uh, SQNM at $3.08. Okay? He wants to sell it at $3.54. Now, Goldman Sachs is just not a buyer at $3.08. He's also a buyer maybe at $2.47, $2.46, $2.44. He might want to buy 100 at $3.80, but he might want to buy 10000 at $2.46. Now, on total view, level three, which is on the right, if you notice, you don't see, over at level two, you notice you see a lot of hundreds. If you look at total view, this way you see more bigger block orders, 10,000, 700, 17,000, 11,000 buyer, 10,000 share seller, 18,000 share seller. So now think about this for a second. This is what my mentor has always taught me, and then hopefully I will get the opportunity to teach all of you the same thing. We all trade a little bit different, but let me explain something to you. The market trades exactly the same. It's all driven by supply and demand. Now when you look at the supply and demand, 
this gives you an indication of where the big block orders are. Does anyone here use charts? Anybody use charts for their trading? I know everyone's going to give me a yes on this one. Of course we use charts. Sure thing, right? Well, when you look at a chart and you see what's called 101 trading support and resistance, what do you think makes a support and resistance level on a chart, everyone? What do you think? Volume, supply and demand, buyers and sellers. But there's one big major problem about a chart. You don't see the buyers and sellers on a chart. A chart is previous what happened in the past. It's not indicative what could happen in the future. The same buyers and sellers from the past need to be there in the future. The only way to see them in the future if they're at, still out there. Because we all know supports and resistance levels get broken all the time. And how do they get broken? Because maybe those buyers and sellers are not there anymore. How many times have you sold a stock at resistance levels and it goes higher? And you're like, I can't believe this. I had a great position. I was making so much. I made money, but I could have made 10 times that. You know, if I held on to it, I don't know why I broke it. Maybe because the seller's not there anymore. Now they all became buyers. Well, how do you see that? On the high frequency trades. Let me change the slide here. Uh, so when it comes to watching what we call total view, um, is total view for, um, is total view available for retail traders? I would not be here today telling you about it if it wasn't. Of course it is. It's been there for you for the past 20 years. Okay. Well, maybe not 20, maybe 10. No, no. I remember I beta tested for Nasdaq 1996. It came out, which was available for all of you. All right. Now, if you look over here, what you have to understand is when you're trading. What I look for is I look for big block orders. It's those big block orders are what make support and resistance levels on a chart. Now, understand this is like basic trading 101. I'd even get into this, you know, the real um, supply and demand, discipline, reverse psychology, all that stuff. Okay, this is just basic stuff. Every one of you here, if you want to trade. You should the most important window on the entire execution system is having and be able to see the block orders, the high frequency trades. You know, I'm just curious, just just for a question for all of you. How many of you here actually do have total view, or or I'm sorry, before that, how many of you have level two? If you know what it is, if you don't know, just give me a question mark. Everyone here have level two. Okay, we're getting a lot of yeses. Okay, the reason why a lot of you are getting level two, because it's free now. When I first started, it was $800. Now, they lower the rate so much, it's free. The problem with level two is where Hubert was telling you before, market makers don't, now that they're being exposed, they don't even tell you, they don't really go out there and advertise and show you what they really want to buy and sell. Now what they're doing is they're hiding their orders behind what's called ECNs. ECNs are called electronic communication network. ECNs are what allow us, ladies and gentlemen, to become a market maker. That's what an ECN is. Now a um, couple questions coming across here. Um, how do we? How does this apply to futures? Well, I trade specific stocks. Okay, um, I think I believe I know in options, but in futures, I don't. I, I think they have their own ECN book. You got to check. Bigger swing level three. Uh, you only available for market makers? No, that's not true. Thinker Swim, great platform. I'm actually doing a speaking for them on December fourth. And um, great platform, but they don't offer it. 
because it um, it eats up a lot of their data. It slows down their system. But you can get it directly through the exchange, and on Friday I'll teach you where to get it. Okay. The thing is, I don't want to tell everybody where to get this and where to get that. The, the problem is, is that if you do that, if I do that, you guys are going to go over there and and buy it and you know and or play with it. And you know, I didn't even teach you how to use it yet. You know what I mean? Like, I we have to walk before we can run. Uh, yes, they do have it for forex. Is level three the same market depth for TradeStation? You know, I don't know how how TradeStation does it today, but um, I believe it's on their matrix system. Uh, but personally, I don't like how they have it laid out. Um, I just go to the exchange and buy it directly through them. All right. So now, anyway, let's let's get to applying this and see what it looks like. All right. Let's bring up a chart and show you how this comes and, and works. Uh, hold on one second. Okay. So, there is resistance. Here is support. Resistance, resistance. Okay. Now, everyone, what makes support and resistance level on a chart again? Can everyone just reiterate what I just mentioned earlier. What makes support and resistance levels on a chart? Okay, everybody, buyers and sellers. Being a good trader, all traders constantly talk. You got to constantly be talking. Remember, we're here as a team. Okay, this is not not everyone, every man for themselves. Remember, we're not the bad guys. Okay, we're the good guys. It's us against market makers and, and Wall Street. The big block orders, right. So now the thing is you look at a chart. Now you need confirmation that those support and resistance levels are buyers and sellers. So if this stock was to come down in the future because they hit a resistance levels, the question is, what, is $8 really and still a support level? Because you got to look back in history. You could see it, but are the orders still there? Well, when you look here on the total view, you have 500 at 10, 8, 10, which is right here. You have 400, 100. And if you notice, as soon as you get down to like 803 and 799, which is right around this $8 price range, you got 2,100 shares, 1,600, 2,900, 10,000, 5,000. I mean, realistically, there's about 20,000 shares looking to be bought at that support resistance level, at that price. So, yeah, I, as much as you might think you're a genius on the chart, it's not, what makes a chart is buying and selling. You just got to confirm if those buyers are still there. And guess what? They are. Uh, question, the problem that they're consistently moving around every second in numbers fashions, it's too fast for human to see. You know what, Robert? Thanks for saying that. And you're absolutely right. Okay? And the reason why I could tell you making that mistake is because you're looking at a fast moving stock. All right? Let me ask you this. Did you see the stock NVGN today? Ever hear of it, Robert? NVGN. You ever hear of it? No, of course not. Okay? It's up it's uh, it's um, here. I'll bring it up so you can see it. Okay, because I'm going to talk about it in the next few moments. Uh, okay, so and hopefully you guys can see this really quick. It's an execution system. All right. Here's the stock. Let me clean. Let me clear the animation. Clear all drawings. Okay. Here's a stock, ladies and gentlemen. That went from October from two dollars. And five cent and fifty cents to all the way to thirteen dollars and sixty five cents. All right, this stock was not a fast moving stock. You could see all the orders, and let me tell you, first thing that probably comes to your mind if I ask you for a stock, you might say, "Ooh, Apple. Ooh, you know, uh, Google, um, Intel, Microsoft. These stocks didn't even move this much. Tesla. Tesla. None of these stocks moved like this one." You see, there's another world out there. You got to remember, Robert. Why are you here, everyone? Why, why realistically are you here? Are you here to learn how to trade Apple? 
I mean, or you're here to trade. Why are you here? To make money. Exactly. Does it? Do you really care what you trade? No. And you shouldn't. This is not investing. This is a job. And the job entails is how am I going to make my money today? And the first thing you have to look at to find to make your money is how to risk the least amount of money to do it with the most amount of reward. And the first thing that you have to learn to be successful is how to follow the money. Uh, Dr. Blank, I don't know who that is, but Dr. Blank saying, how do you determine if a large order are real and not fake orders? That will cancel second before the price uh, is touched. You know what? Excellent question. You'll see it on Friday, okay, when we do live trading, which I'm going to invite all of you to come back and watch me trade live. And, you know, and that's, there. first of all, there is no such thing as fake orders. If a guy puts an order out there, he can get executed. Now, he could do, he could put orders to help him sell orders. It's a little strategy. But more times than others, that's the least, you don't have to worry about that. That's the least of your problems. He's not the only one out there um, at $8. There's a whole bunch of other people out there also. Um, how do you get the invitation, Wayne? Great question. You have to, you have to wait in about 30 minutes. Okay. All right. First of all, I want to make sure that if this is for you or not, and you want to be here. And if you like it, then I'll I'll give you the invitation how to get there. Okay. No problem. Right, let's move on. Let's continue with the example. Um, here you're looking at a stock. Okay. On an on a chart, you could see that it went all the way up to a price of sixteen dollars and thirty cents. And you're probably sitting there like, darn, I wish I knew to sell it at 1630 or 34, because now it's 1623. I just gave back 11 cents. 11 cents on a thousand shares is $110. $110 times five days a week is $550 times 52 weeks is $28,000 a year. I don't think anyone here wants to give away $28,000 a year. How would I have known to sell it right at the high? Well, the chart didn't help you, but when you look at the order, you could see there's a 10,000 share seller out there at 1635, actually one penny below the big block order out there. That, ladies and gentlemen, is not a fake order, and you can even confirm it from the chart. So if you had a game plan and was watching the stock at $16 and watch it as it was going up, how would you have known to sell it at $16.35? Well, the chart couldn't help you, but the order would have. Now, I'm not looking to change anyone's style. I know all of you have something that works. This is not the Fausto Puglisi Nachi, okay? This is how Wall Street trades, and I'll prove it to you. You guys watch CNBC? Do you ever go out there and you watch TV and you watch when they, when they show the floor of the New York Stock Exchange and you see the traders running around? Okay. You ever see those big screens on top of the booths? Do you know what those things are? you know what they're looking at, guys? What do you think they're looking at? Numbers. And what numbers do you think they are? Right there, what I'm showing you, orders. Okay? Wouldn't it be nice to trade down on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange? Unfortunately, you can't because you need several million dollars to buy a seat. But, so you don't need to be there. And plus, who wants to go there? You want to do it from home. You're not looking to move millions of shares a day. You're looking to make a day's pay. And that's where this comes into play. Here's one more. Here you see a stock um, running from a resistance level right here, support levels right here, resistance levels, support, support, which is right around here. And you might think in your mind it might be 230, but realistically, it's really 228 with 10,000 share buyer out there. 
You need to be aware of your surroundings. How many of you have children here? Okay. I know we were all children ourselves. How many of you actually always teach your kids? Listen, and you know you always wish you could always protect them, you know, but you can't. You can't watch them all the time. You got to let them out of the nest. But one thing you always try to tell them, you know, son or daughter, just please be smart. Always look around your surroundings. Don't think we live in a safe world because we don't. There are some really bad people out there. Well, guess what? You are my children, and I'm telling you like a parent, right? You need to be aware of your surroundings. You need to look and make sure that those orders are out there. You guys are putting a lot of money on, on, on hand. You're doing this as a career. You're doing this as a, as a, a, you know, uh, as a future. Maybe you, you, know, you want to trade your own money, and you should, and you must. That's why you're here. But you need to know what you're doing because I know some of you worked so hard to make all that money in your IRA. You worked for, for 20, 30, 50 years, and now you have the opportunity to start managing and trading it because you don't need a mutual fund. You could do it yourself. You probably figured that out. That's why you're here. You know? But you don't want to lose it all tomorrow. You need a coach to show you how to do it. Last one right here, and then we're gonna, I'm going to teach something different. Oh, this is the one we just showed you before. This is the same one. Uh, mutual funds don't return hardly anything, Ron. Well, you know what? What do you, what do you think they do? They're doing exactly what we're teaching you. I've trained so many hedge fund managers. You know, They're doing the same exact thing that you're doing. The only difference is that they charge you for it. They don't tell you what trades that they do. What do you need them for? Do it yourself. Here's another example. Look at the major resistance levels right here. And you could sit there and, and proclaim that you were the smartest, best charter in the world, okay? But that resistance levels that happened over here, and you know, and basically history had a very good way of repeating itself. It had nothing to do about history. It had to do about those 12,000, 21,000, 10,000 share orders that are out there. Okay? As much as you had a game plan, we could have made money going up and got out at the right time. Well, we see stocks break support resistance levels all the time, which leads me to our one more of these examples. Which is this one now? Everybody ready to have a little? Gonna have a little fun, okay? Um, I'm gonna do a little pop quiz, all right? For um, and you're gonna see. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna I'll answer that in the end. I want to give it away, okay? We're looking at the stock right here, all right? And we're looking at a chart. I know we have everyone's a chart reader. It's always the first thing we all do. Now we look at the stock and we could see. Um, hold on. You got support levels here, resistance levels there, support levels here, resistance levels there. Okay, uh, now now looking at this, ladies and gentlemen, can you guys tell me the stock right now is trading at 690? Now, what should the stock do right here at 690? If you had it looking at this chart and looking at history, what do you think it should do? Go up or down? Okay, why? Why do you think it's going to bounce? Um, it's going to fill in a gap. It's at support levels. It's at support. Sideways consolidation. Down on the sellers, reaching support. Okay, Ron saying it's going go for the block at sixteen. Well, we're not at sixteen thirty-five. Right now we're at sixteen ten, sixteen oh nine. What should it do here at sixteen oh nine? Well, if I draw a trend line, which is rule number one, if I draw a trend line, if you said support, you're absolutely right. 
okay? Because it should bounce. There's one problem though. To have to be at a support level, you need buyers. Do you guys see any buyers out there? Any buyers? I can tell you this. That resistance levels at 1620, I see that seller out there for 10,000. I don't see the same 10,000 share buyer out there. So if you said that it was going to be at support levels and bounce, guess what? You just lost all your money. And you know how much money you lost? Take a guess. How much money do you think you're going to lose on this trade? Not all of it. About 25 cents. Where do you think the next support level is, everyone? Anybody want to take a chance? Take a guess. Where's the next support level? Jerry doesn't know. That's right. Uh, Daniel hit the nail right in the head. Right around here, you see the 2,900 share seller from First Boston? Probably all the way down there. I mean, you got some 1,000 share buyers, but you don't see them here. So you see how important, ladies and gentlemen, to have a game plan of not going into a trade trading blind? Like I told you earlier, and for the ones that it, I, I see a lot of people just turning up right now, do you see how it's, it becomes a big why people fail? I mean, think about it. How many of you here are doing that? How many of you here are following orders? I know you're reading the chart good, but are you, are you confirming those support resistance levels with the buyers? And this is just trading one-on-one. I didn't even get into, you know, th this is like basic stuff. Now, the, I mean, there's discipline that comes along with it. There's finding them. But orders are the most important part of the trade. Manuel says we're trading, you, you know, we are blind. Well, that's why you're here, Manuel. And that's why, you know, that's why Hubert has me here. Because he wants me to educate all of you. We're here to train you guys. We want you to win doing this. This is the greatest job in the world. Think about it. You could do it in your pajamas. You could stay home. You don't got to go to work. You know, you're sitting there worrying about politics. You know what? Unfortunately, you know, these big catastrophes could be great opportunities for you to make a lot of money in the market. These are things that you have to look at. Let me change the slide here. All right, now, moving on. Because I know we're running out of time. Um, I got a bunch of slides still to cover. All right. So um, hold on a second. There we go. Let me clean my, erase my animations. Uh, very good info. Well, thank you very much, Charles. And I didn't even get that. We didn't even start yet. <laughs> we're just getting into it. Uh, will there be a lot of stock chart, uh, chart charting? Well, we got some charts coming up right now. Now, let's, uh, let's talk about timing during the day. Now, for some of you, if you heard what I told you um, in the beginning of this presentation, how I got into education is that I was only trading an hour a day. Okay? I was semi-retired at the age of 24. And what happened was it wasn't too healthy for a 24-year-old um, you know, hanging out all day. And uh, what happened... People kept asking me, could you teach me how to trade? And that's how I got into the education business because I realized that there was such a bad negativity of people out there trading because it was such a big failure rate and because people were trying to discourage people from doing it on their own. That made me even more hungry to educate you guys. And one of the biggest mistakes that I find that people do is they trade at the worst times of the market. If you could see right here, a lot of the action happens right in the morning. Right here. Right here. So you could see how, like, I like to trade in pre-market, and you could see how the stock was a beautiful short, dropped from twenty-seven fifty to $20.00. Right at 9.30, you got a bounce. It went from 20 to 23. Came right back down to 21.50. You could have went long, short. I mean, let me, let, me, um, let me put this in a better perspective for you. And this is what all very good educators, even like Hubert would tell you, is how you basically manage your money. 
Okay. Now let me just tell you a little bit about how managing your money. I know it's a bold statement to ask, but let, but let's just answer it the best the way you can. How much money do you guys want to make a year in the market? I mean, as a job, trading as a job, how much would you like to make? Be realistic. Millions, okay. If you're looking to make millions, that means you got to have millions of dollars in the market. All right. So there's a point that you got to be realistic. This is my realistic way of explaining it. If you make a hundred thousand dollars a year, if you could make a fifty percent raise, only working, you know, an hour a day, I think that's pretty damn good. So it's about fifty thousand. More than your losses, Kurt. Okay, so we get 50, 60, 120. And remember, everyone's pockets are different. You know, I know there's people here that, you know, that make a lot of money, and there's people just, you know what, they just sick and tired working eight hours a day. And, uh, or maybe some of you are too overqualified to go back to work and you want to trade. Or maybe some of you here just figure Social Security just ain't cutting it anymore, um, and you just want to make a couple extra hundred bucks just to live. So, all right, so let's use, use the $100,000 method, okay? To make $100,000, you've got to make 40 cents a day. If you, do, if you make 40 cents on 1,000 shares, that's 400 times five days a week times 52 weeks is $104,000 a year to be consistent. Do you think it's hard to pull 40 cents out of the market? 40 cents. We see stocks move dollars. Two trades at 20 cents. Hell, even 50,000. That's 20 cents. Commissions will kill you. That's part of doing business. It's part of doing business. That stock I just told you earlier, VISN, you know what? Today it went from nine to uh, nine dollars in a matter of thirty minutes. Went to thirteen. You think I care about paying seven dollars a ticket? Let me let me give you a little advice about ticket charges. If you can't afford the ticket charge, you can't afford to trade. And it's the same theory that my mentor has taught me. He says, "Hey, Fausto, if you can't afford the gas, you don't can't afford the car, kid. So just go back to public transportation because you'll never ever drive your car." And if you want to trade and take matters in your hands, please keep in mind, nothing is cheap in this world or free. There's ways you can work it, you know, but it's part, it's part of doing business. And the taxes will kill you. <laughs> Let me tell you another thing, the reverse that part. My, my accountant told me, says, Fausto, if you don't pay taxes, obviously you got problems. That means you're not making any money, okay? So don't worry about paying taxes. Paying tax is a good thing. That means you're making money, okay? There's always ways around to save money paying taxes, but don't worry about we're not here to we're not here to lose money, are we? We're here to make money, aren't we? <laughs> I know a lot of people feel the same way. Be happy to pay taxes, I know. We don't we might not like it personally, but we know that obviously we're doing okay. All right, now let's talk about support and resistance levels. Now, if you notice, there has been a lot of support and resistance levels already covered. You know, this is basic stuff. You know, one thing I always try to educate people is try to keep your charts a little bit more on the simple side. You don't have to get so complicated. You know, people start adding indicator after indicator after indicator after indicator, and now let's what happens when you start adding indicators after indicators. What do you get? You get this, all right? This looks like my four-year-old school project. The problem with indicators is they're lagging, okay? They, 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 um, they, you got to learn to be very, very careful of not getting too overwhelmed because the problem with indicators, if you put, put too, much, too much of them, you end up getting very, very lost and very confused. And then you, then you do something which you're not going to do is you're not going to trade. You're going to get traders block. You can't, and that's another thing. When you can't make a decision, you start getting confused. You know, try to keep things more simple. All right, now let's talk about some stocks that we traded today. Did anyone hear about this stock NVGN? 
Anyone hear of it? NBGN. Anybody trade it? Bob, you heard about it. Where did you hear about it, Bob? Ron, you heard about it. That's it? Ten people? Come on. There's over three, 400 people in here. Don't be shy, ladies and gentlemen. Your scan had it, Bob? Okay. Well, it should have had it because it was the biggest percentage gainer of the market right there of 62%. Guys, how many times have you been in a stock that was up 62% on the day? Anyone? Anybody trade a stock up that? You mentioned it earlier, Dan. That's right. That's where you heard it. <laughs> New drug for blood cancer, Jerry's saying. And you know what, Jerry? It was it too late to trade it at 930? Because if you look right here in the pre-market, the stock had great trades. It had great pre-market trading. It started at 405, 450, and by 10 o'clock in 30 minutes, it ran to 675. Is anyone scared to trade stocks at five dollars? Anybody have any, anything against it? I always get people says, "Oh, I don't trade five dollars stocks." They, they're, uh, they, you know, my 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 uh, my book or my mentor told me never trade them. Do you think I care what this company does? You know, Regalis had great news. You know, it's beautiful. They came out with a new, a new drug for blood cancer. You know what? That's great. We need stuff like that. But I don't have, you know, God forbid, I don't have blood cancer or whatever. But as a trader, that's opportunity for me to make money on the stock. So why not go out there? The volume, 1.5 million shares, that's plenty of volume. Volume is perfect. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, you called out CZR and it bounced at a dollar eighty. Thank you very. That's right. That too. And we'll look at that one also. But the thing is, I tweet these stock picks. I run trading rooms every uh, a trading presentation before the market opens up at nine o'clock in the morning every morning here at Cyber Trading University. This stock NBGN was one of my one of my best bets for the day to trade. I found like seven, eight stocks. Out of those stocks, this was one of, three of them, this was one of my big, uh, best bet trades that I like. Let's go to the next one. What platform am I using? It's just a regular basic um, direct access execution system. I just kept it very, very basic. How about this stock, HPJ? Anyone hear of this one? How much I think NBGN is going to run? It doesn't matter. I, I already traded this morning. There's no reason to be going any further than that. It's over. NBGN, let me just bring up this chart right here. This is why I was trying to tell you trading is a part-time job. Look what the stock did. It made its run early this morning, right? And then right after 10 o'clock, we got a funnel, flat line. What does it mean, flat line, in a hospital? What does flat line mean when something's flat line? You're dead. Exactly. So stock is dead. All the money's made early in the morning, ladies and gentlemen. Did anyone see this stock this morning? HPQ, um, HPJ? Yes, Judy was in the top 20. It was the big one. It was actually all the way up there. No problem. How do we scan for stocks? And that's what I'll talk about on Friday. Did anybody see this stock? HPJ? In the last couple of days, the stock was at a dollar. 40, it ran to 290, up almost 100% on the day. Just today alone, it was up 33%. I mean, do the math. If you bought the stock at, tw if you bought at 930 this morning, at $2.20, minus, by in 15 minutes, it went to 290. How much money did you make, everyone?
How much money did you make? What's 220 minus 290? Seven hundred dollars, and then with Wayne, with the commission, let's say it's five dollars. You bought a thousand shares, five dollars in, five dollars out. So you made you made what seven hundred dollars. So Wayne, you made six hundred and ninety dollars. Once again, I don't care about the commission. It's part of doing business. Six hundred dollars times five days a week is how much money? Or seven hundred. Seven hundred times five days a week is how much money? 3,500 times that 52 weeks a year, how much money is that? A lot. It's 182,000. And you know what? If we chased it and we didn't get the full thing, even if we got a quarter of it, we still did well. You understand, ladies and gentlemen? Now, do I care? Are you going to come back to me and, and, and think I'm going to remember about HPQ when I do my taxes? I don't even know what HPQ is. I don't even care what this company is. Hong Kong, high power. What the hell is that? Who knows? Who cares? I'm a trader. I'm here to make money just like you. My mentor has always taught me, this is Fausto, the less you know, the better it is. You're in the business to find stocks that are moving in the market and make your pay. Okay? If you take these trades personally and start worrying what these companies do, you're going to end up losing money. VISN. Anyone heard of VISN? $2 stock about less than two weeks ago. Stock's already 13 how much percent is that on a swing trade? I know I just showed us that, but I'm just saying, but look on a swing trade point of it. Okay? So the, the, the point that I'm getting to is that understanding high-frequency trades is great. You know, understanding supply and demand. But how? what drives these supply and demand out there? Okay, look what, another thing we've learned, timing during the day. Look where most of the action's being made, right in the mornings, not in the middle of the day. This is a part-time job, all right? Now, obviously, maybe some of you could say, oh, Fausto, because I get this all the time, oh, Fausto, you already, you know, you probably found this earlier. You don't believe me? Go to my Twitter page, okay? I was posting these things right at the open. These are stocks that I trade in the morning. SZR, GLU, NVGN, uh, HKTV, uh, NBG, NPC, Schwab. All these stocks are right here. You can see it. You know, I run a, um, if you're part of my trading room, not only do I run an all-day trading room, but I do morning meetings and I also text and tweet um, my uh, my picks, and I do this over the course of the day. So if you can't be in the trading room all day, at least if you're on the road, you could keep up to date what's going on. So, like I said, some of you might have a regular job and you can't be here all day. At least you have access to it and get your stuff. Okay. So um, anyway, here's another big winner that I had: MTS Cell. Once again, look at the morning. Anyone here able to see pre-market? No, I, I start. I start. I do this during uh, during uh, pre-market and during the day. Uh, Ed, I'm going to tell you in the next few moments. Okay. Once again, another look up today what the stock did. It was the second biggest percentage gainer of the market. Now, how do I find these stocks? Okay, I'm going to give you guys a little quick little strategy. What I do is I scan the percentage gainers and losers. Now, obviously, there's a lot of stocks that are moving in the active, the gainers, the losers. What I teach you what to do is I show you how to find the ones 
that have very good spreads, ones is, that's going to prevent you from getting partial tickets, ones that have good volume, good percentage movement. You only need one to make you money. That's it. There's a lot of them that move today. Any one of these stocks, you could have made your $50,000 a year salary. They, and you know what? You had plenty of time to jump in at any one of them. These are things that you, but the thing is, you need somebody to teach you how to do it. You need someone that's going to mentor you through it every day. You're not going to learn it being in this presentation for one hour. What you all need to understand by being here today is that you all need a mentor. You need someone that's going to be on top of you. You got to believe that I can teach you or the instructor is going to be able to teach you whoever you feel you want to use. And if this is something that you want to do, this is the way it works. Um, it's just pretty funny. It looks like a lot of you are just trying to um, are doing your searches right now and found me on Twitter and starting to, uh, to build you know, get, and getting access to this. Okay, A couple of things, obviously, what we do um, before, we, before we get there. Now, um, let me just erase this all. Okay. So anyway, here's all the tweets and all the stocks I was showing you. Okay. So now, because we're almost done right now. Yeah. Well, that, I think that's the next thing I want to mention. Um, my Twitter, my live Twitter feed and my professional room is not free. And I'm going to tell you guys um, a promotion I'm going to run for all of you so you can get it uh, to try it out. All right. Now, Cyber Training University teaches to some of the biggest brokerage firms in the, in the industry. I've been doing this for 20 years. Um, I've trained hundreds of thousands of people over the years. Tens of thousands have taken my course. Um, here at Cyber Training University, we don't advertise. You won't find us on TV. You won't even find us doing any banner ads. Everybody that, that is a student at Cyber Training University is a, um, it has been a referral or done a speaking like we're doing here today. Okay, um, Cyber Training University was though featured in Equities Magazine as best school six years in a row. Um, Active Trader Magazine wrote a front page article on me on market maker traps. Now, if anyone here would like to um, get that articles and want to read them, I'll give you my uh, my email address. Put in the chat right here. Oh, actually, you guys can write it down. Uh, uh, I actually have it on the next slide. Okay, uh, I have it in the next slide for you. Oops, wait, hold on. There we go. Okay, so here's my email address: Fausto P at CTUCorp.com. If you want a copy of today's slides, email me. If you have any questions whatsoever about trading or whatever, just send me an email, okay? And um, I'll be able to answer any questions you might have. Now, about the event on Friday, I'm going to do a live trading demonstration on Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So if you guys would like to register for it, go to our website, Right on the home page says free live stock trading webinar. Register there. This is actually a photo of me um, doing a competition in New York of a trader's challenge. So um, I'm going to show you, you know, how, what it's like to trade in the real live market hours. So click here, register for this uh, on our home page. Now, the promotion that we're running is this we're doing something it's, that's called Take Five. For five days, for five dollars, you'll get a free trial of my professional trading room. That includes the Twitter, the text messaging, the morning meetings, and live trading all day. All right? For five bucks. I'm asking you to hire me for a dollar a day. That's it. Just a dollar. Give me a dollar, you know, a day. Let me work for you. Let me show you how to do this. And you know what? Worst thing that can happen, you're out five bucks. Right on our homepage, and, you'll, and like I said, it, you'll get the Twitter, and you get the text messaging for five days. And the subscription, just to let you know, 
we're not going to bill you, you know, for my monthly subscription. If you don't want to continue, we won't bill you. Let me know if you like it. I actually had a student the other day that made fifteen thousand dollars in my trading room from Ontario, Canada, DK. You'll meet you'll meet all these traders that trade their all day. All right. Now um, to register for this, um, you go to our homepage or our website, and you'll see a banner ad come up. It's called Cyber Group Five for Five Take Five. Just click on there for five bucks. Register for it. And if you want to continue subscription, let me know. If not, no hard feelings. Okay. I could almost tell you this though. You'll see a lot of great opportunities, make a lot of money with all these texts and twittings. Okay. Now, if anyone wants to register, um, if you don't want to register for the Take Five and just want to come watch me live trade, you could do that. You know, but I could tell you this by watching me for the next uh, two days in my mor morning meetings, in my live trading room, you can have a lot of great questions and and see it live. Why I apply it in the real market conditions? That's right, Ed. Five days for five bucks. Now, um. I'm, we're, looks like we're pretty much done right now. Wow, I did it in an hour. All right, so any qu last minute questions, everyone? Um, anyone have any questions to ask before we uh, end out today's presentation? Is the copa uh, the person interested? Well, uh, what is the price of level three? It's fifteen dollars a month through the exchanges, and on Friday I'll show you how to get it. What's the URL again? Um, the URL is right on our homepage. Go to CyberTradingUniversity.com, and you'll be able to register for it. I'll put it in the chat box. I think you could probably. I don't know if you could see it in the. Um, I guess I can't do it in there. Uh, just go right to our homepage of CyberTrading University. And right on the top page, you'll see it. Here's a, I'm bringing up my website right now. And, uh, oh, and another thing, Hubert, just to let also guys you know, I got a, we got a great presentation coming up, and uh, Hubert's joining us. Um, John Nigerian's a good friend of mine. We're doing a cyber expo on November 2nd. Uh, Hubert, Rob Booker, uh, we've got a bunch of John Nigerian. He's going to be doing a great presentation. So it's going to be an online expo webinar. That's another event that we're doing. Uh, live trading is the second slide, and uh, this is actually a full blown course that I teach. So, I guess the first one is what you guys are looking for. So, is your live training is this course correct? Yes, that's going to be on Friday. Friday is this one right here. The third one, what I'm clicking on right here. Let me blow this up so you guys can see a little bit bigger. Uh, please repeat your normal charges. It's it's the normal charge. Like I said, right here, if you click on Take Five, is five dollars for five days. Right here. And if you want to continue the Cyber Group subscription, there there are basically two memberships that you could do. Um, it's forty seven. 97 or 197. That's later if you want to continue the subscription. But for right now, I'm asking you for $5 to test it out. Do I send pre-market tweets, Terry? Absolutely. That's part of the whole thing. The room is opened up at 9 a.m. So and it and it's recorded on top of it. Uh, Rich, let me tell you about options. You got to learn how to trade stocks before you can trade options. It's the movement of the stocks that makes the option move. Just to let you know. Yes, here I, I definitely short. There was some great shorts uh, yesterday, actually. Actual recommended actual size depending on your trading account and you know and how good of a trader you are is the recommended amount of size that you want to go. Do I trade futures? No, not me personally. Well, to answer six killer, I mean, once again, if you want to, to be more specific on that question, why don't you email me personally? But 
the purpose is obviously to educate you guys. Go out there, see if this is what you want to do. Be involved with a group of people that are doing exactly what you're doing, you know, and you know, going from there. Trade like a team. How do you enroll? Go right to our website on the home page of CyberTrade University, and you'll see the banner right up on the left hand side. Can you start on Monday? Um, if you want to, Daniel, but it, you should start today. I mean, once you register, you'll have access to the room immediately. And um, so at least you have some good questions to ask on the exclusive event I'm going to do on Friday. I usually start trading at night at, at 8.30 a.m. I, I do my tradings in the pre-market, Barry. Up until nine, most of the money's made in pre-market, so you prepared and get you got the VIP access to get in in the pre-market with a direct access broker. These are things that you're going to learn. Good options on any of the stock picks. I have to look at it. If I decide to keep the membership, what is the regular price? Well, like I said, depending on your membership, it runs from forty-seven to one ninety-seven. Anna. Uh, Johnny, yes, we do. And not only that, Johnny, I put photo shots of the screens of the chart on Twitter so you could see what they look like and see what the, what we're talking about other than just, just throwing st um, symbols out there. Will Congress make a deal? Daniel, I can tell you is this. If they don't, I hope you got a lot of cash in the bank because you're going to make a lot of money in trading. Unfortunately, a major catastrophe like that was going to make a huge opportunity for guys like us. All right, everyone, listen, um, once again, you have my personal email address. If you got any other questions, I'm, I'm, I'm out of time right now. Uh, first of all, I would really like to thank Huber for having me here. You know, And for everyone here, just to let you know, I will be, um, if there's anybody from Canada, I'm going to be at the Toronto uh, World Money Show next week. I got two big speakings up in Toronto. Hopefully, if you want to come see me on site, I'm also going to be in Vegas with Hubert um, in, in the end of November in, in uh, the Traders Expo. So there's great opportunities to meet all of us. It's, you know, and if you're a student of ours, uh, it's a great way to, to kind of get more questions asked in a personal way. You know, it's kind of very difficult to kind of add, answer a lot of questions when you get several hundred people in a webinar. But it's a great way for us to be on top of you and, and work with you guys. So uh, with that said, I really, really, really like to uh, appreciate Hubert for having me here today. Thank you all for coming. I hope everyone learned a lot for the short amount of time that I was able to give in, in an hour. Hopefully it will make you realize that there's so much more you need to learn to be very successful. And just always remember, the cheapest trade you are ever, ever going to make, the cheapest trade is getting educated. So don't go out there and try to figure on your own. It's just so much cheaper to have someone teach you and if it's not me or Hubert, it could be somebody else, but just make sure that when you learn from somebody that they are a trader, they're going to trade with you and they're going to be there for you for, for forever because you are going to need that hand holding for a long, long time. And the more you learn, the better trader you're going to are and you're going to realize a part-time job is the best job of the world. All right. So with that said, uh, where where am I? Where in Toronto at the um, at the Metro Center? You know the the big convention center. Send me an email uh, and I'll give you the links for it. Okay. All right, everyone. So anyway, the phone uh, the phone is, are available. If you want to call us, you can also uh, register on, over the telephone for the promotion. Um, or in the meantime, uh, or register online. Everyone, thank you so much. Thanks for coming. Thanks, Hubert. Thanks, everybody, and uh, happy trading. Thank you, Fausto. All right, so uh, to order uh, uh, Fausto's special offer, go to uh, cybertradinguniversity.com forward slash new. I'm going to put the link up here for you, too, in case you didn't get it. I'm just going to send it to everybody one more time, and I'll also put it in the chat box. You can also call their telephone number, um, area code 516-280-5350, um, cybertradinguniversity.com forward slash new forward slash cyber group five or five or you can just go to cyber training university forward slash new and there'll be a, a, a pop-up that comes up there 
you can see click to join five for five dollars just click there and you'll see the offer in front of me uh, subscribe for only five dollars and uh, give it a shot you, you don't have much at all to lose uh, the URL for the event on Friday I don't know what that is um, if uh, but I'm sure we can have have those guys send it out to you um, we're gonna produce the recording here send it out and uh, I will get the link for Friday for anybody that registered so that uh, we'll send that to you so you can attend that on Friday all right, gang, thanks for showing up. I really appreciate it. Good luck. Hope it helps, and we'll see you on the next webinar.